Hi everybody, welcome to Crawdaddy Customs. Um, my daughter has this um, 2016 Hyundai Elantra. It's got spark plugs that need to be done on it, so I figured I'd make a video to show you how to do it. So we're gonna begin down here in the engine bay. You start, this is your engine cover, and it's held in place by these little pop-in tabs that are right here. These are secured. You got these little ball and socket pieces. So we're gonna start there. Next, we're gonna move on to the spark plug. These are your individual coils right here for each spark plug and they're held in place by, it looks like a 10 millimeter bolt. Give me just a second and I'll get that set up. Okay, so begin with, we're gonna go through, there's a little lock right here, this little gray thing. I just pop it up like that and then I'm able to release the connector. The next thing I do is I take my ratchet, and this is a 10 millimeter, put it on here and I loosen it. And remember, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. This stuff's plastic and aluminum and whatnot, so don't go in there ham-fisting it, trying to crank the things down. But Okay, so here's the first one, the bolt, it comes out. We're just gonna put it right up here to keep it out of the way for the moment. Move this, give this a little wiggle, and these come, oh, these come out really, really easy. This is your coil right here. <laughs> it's very nice. Okay, so our next step is we switch over. This is a spark plug socket, and if you notice, can you see the, can you see inside there? See the little rubber retainer? Okay, so that, what that's for, that's good for grabbing your socket. So we take that and we put it down in here. swing on this. There we go. Oops. Come on, there you go. Okay, now. And there's our old one. Comes out real easily. So we'll go ahead and we'll check the gaps on it and we'll start a new one. Okay, so can you see this gap right here? Okay, so what we do is, this is a gapping tool. It's tapered, as you know, it gets larger as it goes. It's measured. So I measured the old one and I am coming up with just about 44 thousandths, which if you're looking right here, there's 40, there's 45, there's 50. It's just before it's 44. And the measurement that I found online, I saw two of them, one set 39, one set 44. I'm putting in these old plugs. These are NGKs, these are the factory ones. The new ones are Bosch. And as you can see, they're the same length, same electrode, all that good stuff. But the Bosch are gapped at 39,000. So I'm gonna open them up slightly to 44 thousandths. And We'll be right back. Okay, um, I did some research on these before I changed anything. And um, the Bosch, evidently this particular Bosch plug, which is a Bosch 9686 nine, um, Rock Auto had, I looked it up and they said they're not adjustable. So we're not gonna play with the gaps. Usually that little gap right there is adjustable. You can bend it in or out to fit, but we'll just leave it be. Um, this is anti-seize. Since this is a steel plug and it's aluminum head, we put a little bit of anti-seize on there so that it doesn't gall, which catch the threads on it and it binds up. You don't want that to happen. So we'll take a little bit of anti-seize and we'll put some of this on here. A little there, a little there, a little bit here. Uh, there we go. Not too crazy, just, uh, just a little bit, just to kind of keep it from sticking. And uh, there we go. And we'll take this guy and we'll make sure that it's securely in our spark plug socket. It is. Bring it over here, we'll carefully invert it. Put it down the center. Carefully. Don't bang it around. 
and now I failed it. Now instead of tightening it, I want to turn it backwards just slightly. There you go. So it feels like it grabbed in that thread properly. If you just put it in there and you're cocked at an angle and you start tightening something, you can do what's called cross threading, which is where the threads don't engage properly. So engaging like this, it's engaging like this, and then it binds up and tightens. And uh, that'll really wreck your day if you run a spark plug thread in the top of your head. You're gonna have to take the engine apart, or somebody is. And uh, it's gonna be very expensive. So, <clears throat> so next thing I do. There's actually a torque spec for these, but I don't know what it is at the top of my head, and that feels, that's tight without overdoing it. You don't want to get in there and try to muscle your way around and strip the thing out. Like I said, it's aluminum. We're not trying to do that. So the next thing we do, we'll take our coil and just lightly wipe it, make sure everything sits pretty nice, things in pretty good shape. Um, hold it upside down for a second just kind of wipe some of the dust and whatnot off of it <laughs> make sure everything looks nice okay there's your piece there's your socket just carefully lower it in you feel it engage on the tube and there we go take our bolt put our bolt back in Lightly seat the bolt. Again, it's plastic. Don't go crazy on it. There you go. Take our connector. We carefully reinstall it. And press the lock down. You've done one. Three to go. Congratulations. You saved yourself probably $120. So. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.